told me that he had worked there for six years. Dallas police say Eniath Saeed was 52 years old. In a GoFundMe post written while he was still alive, his son wrote, My father was the sole earner in my family, which includes my mom and my two younger siblings, who are 5 and 13 years old. My family is facing extreme financial challenges now. And are in 250 Gemstones Culture represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. We are more than journalism. We are a revolution. Come on, come on, let's kick this door down and let everybody know we are in here. Welcome to the 250 Gemstones News TV channel. I am your host, Michael T. Porter. I'm bringing the news to your ass like no other. This is a channel that represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. I have another bomb news segment for y'all. But before I begin, y'all hit that like button, that subscribe button, that share button, hit that notification bell. So you know when I am dropping. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, Cash App, Dollar Sign, Michael US. And don't forget to check out my Spotify podcast, 250 Gemstones Culture Podcast. Link is in the description. Y'all stay and watch the whole video. We need to talk. This is your first time to the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you are returning, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my goodness, how y'all doing? I'm doing great, but this cash uh gas station clerk is not doing too well because he was gunned down by this deranged woman out here in dallas shout out mother effing dallas texas she gunned him down over a damn water bottle did y'all hear me she took a man's life this is a woman gunned him down john wayne john wayne's little daughter gunned this gas station clerk down over a bottle of water i got a video i want to play for y'all and i'm gonna be right back with you to give you my opinion let's go a family is mourning the loss of a husband and father of three children who was shot during an armed robbery of a convenience store near the dallas zoo police say the shooter was a 29 year old woman fox was laurie brown live in dallas laurie Grace, an employee at the Chevron gas station, got tears in her eyes when I asked about Eniath Saeed. She told me that he had worked there for six years. Dallas police say Eniath Saeed was 52 years old. In a GoFundMe post written while he was still alive, his son wrote, My father was the sole earner in my family, which includes my mom and my two younger siblings, who are 5 and 13 years old. My family is facing extreme financial challenges now and are in desperate need of help. A customer of the Chevron Deli Mart on South Marcellus Avenue was saddened to learn that Saeed did not survive. He's a very good guy. He was all about his job. He was very serious about his job. Um, there was no really complaints about him. He looked out for everybody if he needed help. The Dallas Police Department charged 29-year-old Aaliyah Horn with capital murder. DPD says they got the call about the shooting at around 5.45 a.m. July 8th. According to the arrest affidavit, surveillance video shows the shooter placing a water bottle on the counter in front of the cashier, Saeed. There's an argument. The shooter draws a handgun, aims it, and fires a shot into Saeed's neck. The affidavit says Horn then grabs her water bottle and leaves the store on foot. That's when another employee followed the shooter southbound on Interstate 35 to 12th Street. Arresting officers arrived and began searching. The affidavit says an officer observed a bamboo tree fall and looked in the direction of the trees when he saw Horn matching the description. She then decided to run from the arresting officers, but they could still hear rustling in the tree line. They saw her exiting a backyard fence and placed her in custody. Officers found a black 9mm handgun on top of a fence post. It was loaded with a round in the chamber and 10 rounds in the magazine. Turns out Horn was already wanted for a shooting three days earlier on July 5th. The affidavit from that case says she knocked on the door of a home on Alameda Drive. Suspect Horn pointed a handgun at the face of complainant and pulled the trigger. The firearm jammed and did not fire. She then tried again. This time, the weapon fired and complainant was struck in the right arm near the elbow. The victim survived and told police Horn dropped possible drugs on the ground. Police recovered K2 synthetic marijuana from the scene. It is unclear from the affidavits what steps police took to find Horn before Saeed was killed. Somebody that it was the innocent that died for, for a non-cause, you know. Yeah, he was just doing his job. Would y'all like my opinion? Would y'all like some of this 250 Gemstones News TV commentary? Well, of course you do. 
that's why your ass is here. Man, John Wayne, little daughter. John Wayne, little daughter, had that six years. She was busy. This woman's on drugs. It's obvious that she needs help. I, that's why, you know what? I, I did my thing back in the day to smoke that tree for, but I usually smoke with my close, close, close friends and family members. Like, I don't ever remember going to a party. Uh, excuse me. I, never, I don't remember going to a party and just smoking with anybody. I'm trying to remember. No, when I went, to, every time I party, it was with people I really, really knew. Thank God, just going to another nigga's hood, just going to another nigga's, uh, function and just taking whatever now we knew that back when we were little the dangers of drugs and all that stuff so i was never with the drugs i never popped pills never did anything like that because i was always scared of my mind i was always scared of being a crackhead and have to do some strange for a little piece of change just to get my fix so i was always terrified now even when i was uh hitting that weed you know it was from people i knew people i really really knew in my neighborhood i knew this dude i knew that dude i knew that dude but you know, all it takes is one time. The point I'm getting at, all it takes is one time for that stuff to take over your mind. All it takes is one time for that stuff to take over your mind. Think about that. To take over your mind. So I be thinking like, damn, fentanyl. She's on that K2, that synthetic weed. The weed is not even real anymore back in the day. We know there was some bad weed floating around, but overall there was some good stuff floating around. But when you start talking about coke and heroin, all that hard stuff, you know, that's not my thing. Never did it. Just all it takes is one time for heroin to take over. I think heroin's probably the worst. You have to take another drug just to get off it. Highly, 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 highly addictive. Nicotine, heroin, and caffeine. You understand what I'm saying? So all it takes is one time. Next thing you know, you uh, pull it, taking off your clothes for a hit. Taking off your clothes for a hit. Now you're at the mercy of another human being. Now you sleeping, especially them girls. And now they got guys too. Now you giving your body, having sex with strangers just to get a, a, a fix. You at the lowest point of your life. And that's not even the worst. Sleeping with drugs, you know, you think that's at the bottom. Killing for drugs is even worse than that. Killing somebody over some drugs, you got to get a fix. One thing to sleep your way to it, you know, you, the lack of shame, you know, you just surrender your soul to this substance. This thing, this chemical is taking over your soul and your mind. Now you're going to kill somebody for you're going to rob somebody. That's not even the worst. That, and killing somebody for it's not even the worst. Killing somebody over something stupid like a water bottle. There's a lot of crimes where people just do stupid stuff. And I think that's probably just as worse or if not worse than the other two. Because when you're on your, if you were on this drug and it caused you to act sporadic and kill somebody over a water bottle, you didn't even get the drugs. You didn't get no sex out of it. You didn't get any drugs out of it. You know and what I'm saying? You didn't get nothing out of it. So this thing just got you out here wilding. This thing got you out here wilding. Now you about to be in jail for the rest of your life. About to be in jail for the rest of your life. I hope that anybody that's on it that listens to this message, y'all get off that shit. Get your life together. Handle your business because uh this is crazy all over water bottle and she already had a warrant y'all heard the video she's already out you know that they already on her ass they chasing her down because she's she was involved in the shooting three days prior putting guns to people's faces she's she's a lunatic she's a crackhead dope head with a gun her ass gotta get off the street and it's unfortunate that that store clerk lost his life store clerk won't be able to go home to his family and it's just sad he's just this is crazy this crackhead hoe doing the most but y'all flood my comments what do y'all think about this woman k2 synthetic weed caused her to take a life of an innocent man over a damn water bottle 250 capital g i'm gone